guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, my name is Jessica. I'm the Furry Family Coach. And in this video, we're gonna be making some pumpkin peanut butter treats for our dogs. And it really only takes a few ingredients. You probably have most of this lying around your house right now. So I think your dog is gonna love them. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, real quick, if you are new here or if you are not a subscriber, look right down there if that subscribe button is red, go ahead and click it turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Also a thumbs up is the best compliment you can give. And if at any time during this video, you are enjoying this content, please go ahead and give it a like. All right. So let's get right into these pumpkin, peanut butter and banana treats. Um, we're only going to need a few things. You need a baking sheet. You need some parchment paper. And you don't have to have the parchment paper, but it makes cleanup a lot easier. We're gonna be using a ripe banana, some powdered milk, peanut butter. Of course, make sure it does not have xylitol in it. 100% whatever you do, xylitol is not good for our dogs and a lot of peanut butter brands are switching from sugar to xylitol. So make sure you check that, check that ingredient label. This one only con contains dry roasted organic peanuts. And that's it. That's all you really want in a peanut butter anyway. Make sure you check the ingredient label before you give peanut butter to your dog. And a can of 100% pure pumpkin. Um, one other thing that's gonna make life easier for you is a Ziploc bag or a pastry bag. And of course, we're gonna need to get a bowl. You know, I think I'm gonna need to get a glass bowl. It's gonna make videos like this so much easier so you can see what I'm putting into the bowl. But for now, I've got this stainless steel bowl. So I'm gonna set up my other camera. All right, so we're gonna start by mixing all of our ingredients together, which is gonna be, uh, first and foremost, a can, which is 15 ounces of 100% pumpkin. Make sure you're getting pumpkin. There goes the um, oven. We set that to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Go ahead and do that first. Um, so make sure it's 100% pumpkin and not pumpkin pie filling. That's not what you wanna feed your dog just 100% pumpkin. All right, so we're gonna take the contents of this can of pumpkin and dump it into our mixing bowl. So this recipe is gonna make a lot of small training size treats. So don't worry about like if you leave a little bit in the can, it's gonna be okay. Now we're gonna take a big spoonful of peanut butter and add that in. Then we're gonna take half a cup of powdered milk. So I did have to go buy powdered milk for this. So I'm not sure what I've got here. I've got 3.2 ounces. So I'm just gonna open up a package and get my measuring cup out. And don't worry about the brand. I picked up Carnation at first cause I was like, oh, I know what that is. And I looked at the ingredients of Carnation and then the store brand, it was exactly the same. So I'm just gonna take half a cup of powdered milk. And if you're one of those people that uses powdered milk a lot, go ahead and save the rest. And then I'm gonna take a ripe banana, which guys, did you know that you're not supposed to open it from this end? You're supposed to open it from this end. It makes it like a thousand times easier. So I'm just gonna kinda mash this up a little bit as I add it into the bowl. All right, so now we're just gonna mix everything up with a spoon and try to mash up those bananas a little bit more because we're going to use that Ziploc bag or if you have a pastry bag, you can use a pastry bag um, and squeeze it out onto the parchment paper. So we don't want huge chunks. You're not gonna get any banana if we leave them as huge chunks because um, it's not gonna come through the opening on the, well, the opening that we cut on the Ziploc or the opening of the pastry bag if you're using a pastry bag. So I'm gonna mix it all up and try to just smash as m the banana as much as possible. All right, and now this is what we are left with. So we're just going to take our baking sheet now and we're gonna line it with parchment paper. Now, I don't know about you, but my parchment paper is wider than my baking sheet, like always. So I actually have to go and like cut it down so it fits. Always, it's 
I don't know what it is. Can't they, like, they don't sell hot dogs and hot dog buns in the same number in the package. Parchment paper is too wide for our baking sheets. I don't know what the deal is. It's like some conspiracy going on. If you think the same thing, go ahead and let me know in the comments. So I got it cut down to about the size of my baking sheet here. So now all we're gonna do is take our Ziploc bag or your pastry bag. And I gotta tell you, I have a pastry bag, but it is such a pain to clean that I would just rather use a Ziploc bag. Um, so we're gonna start, you don't have to fill it all the way, but start adding some of our mixture into the Ziploc bag. And again, this is gonna make a lot. So um, be prepared to probably, probably two baking sheets is what you're gonna wind up with. So now that I've got that, I'm just gonna take the corner of my Ziploc bag and I'm gonna cut. Now, depending on the size of your dog, is going to be the size of treats you want. I have a fairly small dog, so I'm gonna be making some smaller treats. Um, but now that I've got the hole in my Ziploc, I'm just gonna be, try to do like maybe the size of an almond or a cashew. We're just gonna make little dots on our parchment paper. A couple of mine have gotten a little bit bigger because they have some banana pieces in them. And that's okay. You don't have to be perfect. Because to your dog, you're already perfect. All right, so now that we have our baking sheet full, we're gonna pop this in the oven at 325 degrees for about 15 minutes. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. These are hot right out of the oven. And so we're gonna let these cool down and these are gonna be nice little training treats for our dog. Now these freeze very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of my batch and I'm gonna just keep two to three days worth in the refrigerator. I'm gonna freeze the rest. If you can freeze the rest in small quantities, that's gonna be the best. That way you only have to thaw it once <laughs> um, and you're not thawing a whole batch and then refreezing that's going to be the best thing you can do um but if you can't you can't you know uh, but these do freeze really really well all right guys thank you so much for joining me in this video i love doing recipe videos for you guys but you have to let me know in the comments that you want to see more of this kind of video as well uh, so go ahead and post in the comments let me know if you have any questions let me know if you have any comments let me know when you try these uh, how much your dog loves them and like i said yes they do freeze well so this is going to make a big batch so you only have to make it you know every so often depending on how much you use these um i would i like to rotate the treats that i give kim just so she doesn't get bored with what i'm giving her um so having more and more options available to me is and available to her is one of the best things we can do for training um if you have any questions if you have any comments if you love this recipe whatever it may be check the link in the description below and join the group join the family there are thousands of other pet parents just waiting for you to join as well as myself you can share pictures you can share videos you can ask questions you can help answer other questions for other people in the group we're just waiting for you to join so what are you doing what are you waiting for go ahead and click the link and join the group again thank you so much for being here with me on this video if you look right down there and that subscribe button is red make sure to click it and turn it gray when you do a bell will appear click the bell select all notifications that way youtube can notify you every time I post a new video. And as always, a thumbs up is the best compliment you can give and I would love to receive from you. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, there's gonna be another video popping up right about here. I definitely recommend you check that video out next and I'll see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.